These are Yarra gum seedlings that were sown 50 days or seven weeks ago. Growing conditions have been ideal. They have been raised in a hothouse and well watered. Some of the seedlings are getting too large for the tray, so it's time to transplant them to deeper tubes so healthy root growth can occur. Here I am filling the tubes that the seedlings will be placed in. I'm using good quality seed raising mix. Do not use potting mix. You will note the various markers in the large holder tray which identify different seedlings and planting times. It's always good to keep uh, a good record of what you've planted and when. Make a deep hole in the centre of each tube. This is where the seedling will be placed. Now is use the chopstick method. I don't have a chopstick so I've got a screwdriver instead. And I'm going to transplant from this little seed tray. You see the seed tray here. It's very shallow. So I'm going to put them into these much deeper pots. So I'll start with these ones here. And I'm just going to do a little circle. I'm a bit clumsy, but they're they're pretty resilient little creatures, these. So you see, you got that, see this big one here? So what I do is put my fingers here and try and lift out. You see the roots? That goes in down there. Tuck him in there. Do that little thing like that. And that's one across. Now I'll do this one again. So you make that little circle around the stem of the... These are Yarra gums, these. Oops. So then I'm going to tease him out and just pull him out. Can you see my little fingers there? Gently, gently, gently. Gently, gently, gently. Oh, this, this one's taking... Oh, oh. See the roots? See the little roots? Just in here. So they go in the hole that I prepared there. And they go down, 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 down. And in she goes. And that's another one. So that's the chopstick method. I'll just do one more. Let's pick a big one here. Oh, this is a big one. Can you get that down here? My excellent photographer here. So you go around. This really, chopsticks would be better than a screwdriver, but get yourself some chopsticks. Now I'm going to tease him out, or her out, I don't know, oh, oh, see how long that root is? So that root is going to go down here, you're focusing on that one, camera woman, down she goes, down he or she goes, okay. And that's it. That's the chopstick method. Now the most in, the thing to do now is to definitely give them a drink. And you see this sprayer I've got? It's a mister. You don't want to be too harsh on the poor little plants because I've just made, you see how I'm giving them a little drink? You don't want to be too harsh on them, but you want to give them a really, really good drink. And that helps the roots settle in and gets rid of sort of I understand bacterial infections on the roots. That's why you always water in plants when you and you get rid of air bubbles and things like that. So see how they he'll pop up when the sun comes out. It's just you see how the roots vary in depth, but it's really good. So I'll do another seven. And also it's really important to mark them. So mark what they are um, when they were first planted. Can you see that? The Yarra gum. So I'm going to write that again on another little marker so I know exactly what I've got and when they were first put in as seeds so I can calculate, you know, how they're travelling and when, how far away they are from planting in the soil. Thank you for watching this segment.